Hello, I'm Durward. Welcome back. Um, we are going to look at an interesting technique called Munadori uh, Jujinage. So you're joining us here on Aikido Virtual Dojo channel and um, we're going to be looking at a technique today that involves uh, gr the grabbing of the collar and also then wrapping your partner up, almost kind of tying up their arms. And so we're going to get into it, so stay tuned. Let's take a look at the footwork for Munadori Jujinage. And we begin in our Hanmi position. As we begin the technique, we're going to step out with the back foot to the side and also turning in a way that adjusts and changes the angle of the feet. This is when we take the actual arms for the Jujinage and we will step in towards the center line or moving in towards our partner and capturing or sharing then the balance which will draw the partner down. Then we're going to pivot and turn around as our partner comes down in order to finish the technique. Okay, so let's go into the details of this technique here with Munadori Jujinage. So with my partner, the attack then is Munadori. He's basically grabbing towards the solar plexus and in this case then he's grabbing the, the gi or the collar area here. So he's got it controlled in this way, and he can have several different attacks that come from this. So I want to instantly connect with him, okay, without waiting too much. So with the same side, so he's got his arm here, that's grabbing, and with the same side here, I'm going to connect and occupy that second hand. And as I do that, I want to reach not only at him, but I want to kind of reach into him, creating this effect that has a, a mounted effect, this Yama Biko that we would that we've looked at before. Okay? So as I do this, I want to reach through and into his, into his center. Okay? This bottom hand is going to just come right underneath in between the fingers and the thumb and catch the wrist here. Now from here, I'm going to release, release this connection and let him come back into balance. And as I do that, I'm going to cut at the same time. So as I release, I also cut. And to do that, I'm going to move my body out to the side. Okay, so as I release and cut, then he actually falls a little bit into that space in this way. So now taking a look at this from a different angle, we've done the cut, we've grabbed the wrist from underneath, and our partner is already starting to slightly lose the balance here, falling into the space. So at this point then, I can connect and grab with the grab to the wrist. I already have the other wrist, and I'm going to take a slight step back as I draw out of the, the grip from on the chest here. Now this may or may not actually release, but in general, if you move the body, instead of trying to pull this off of you, if you move the body back, it'll have a, a better effect in releasing. Okay? And if that happens, then I'm free to move in. I bring this up from underneath. So this arm here is, that moves up is going to catch the arm that's crossed. As I step in, I want to move into the center line. So I step in, moving into the center line, allowing my partner to come down and spiral down. Now I need to follow him as well and move the feet in such a way that I follow him here. In the end, we want to finish with the immobilization. Now there are a lot of different ways we can do this. The most basic and simple way is to just continue in the directions of the arms. So we have this cross going on with the arms. We have one that's going out to the side and one that's going up. And if I catch this arm from underneath, if I catch this arm from underneath, 
then it'll have a, a better effect on my partner. Okay, so this underarm here, this arm that comes from underneath and moves out, catches that top arm from underneath and comes down into the center line. So this arm is going to reach out, this arm is going to come up from underneath, and then cross over. And then I go right down into the center line. Now for my uke, uke needs to tap with the feet because his hands are occupied. Okay, let's take a quick look at um, a slightly different version at the end, which includes that high fall. Now it's important uh, when you're doing a high fall in the end, to hold on to the correct arm to allow your partner to have support. And so we need to take a look at that. Um, so with my partner, he grabs, we're going to go through the technique very quickly again, we reach into our partner, and as I release and cut, I'm going to step and let him fall into place. Connecting wrist and wrist, drawing the body back, and moving in, in and underneath, catching my partner's center. Okay, and as I step into that center line and draw him down, then he's actually moving forward. Okay, now we can turn that body so that as he goes forward, he actually goes forward instead of taking a backward roll down. Okay, instead of going backwards down, he's going to turn forward into it. Now to do that, then, then I need to hold on to this arm that's vertical. Okay, this will be important. So you want to hold on to this arm that's vertical. And as I release my partner for him to take a forward roll, then I have to release the other hand. Okay, so as I step into it, I'm going to release the horizontal hand, and I hold the vertical hand in order for him to take a high fall there. Okay, so let's look at this in a flow. I'm going to move here, and then... Okay, holding my partner.